Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a fill on acrylic. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to prep the nail um, from start to finish before laying the actual acrylic down. Laying the acrylic will be a separate video, but for now, this is my client. I believe she's about two, two and a half weeks in between uh, her last appointment and today. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a coarse grit safety bit um, and I'm going to remove the old design, which for her, we just did a regular. I think it's hard how we always wait another day How we watch things the kids walk away Now I'm only going to show probably two or three fingers in real time and then I will speed up the video um, just because it is the same process over and over again for all 10 fingers. Just remove that gel polish, uh, remove any extra bulk that may be on the nail and then shorten the length to what she's uh, looking for. I do also just want to mention that when I'm using this safety bit, um, it is a coarse safety bit, and if I touch the natural nail with this, it really could hurt uh, the client. It could damage her nail. Um, so I'm very, very careful, and I do take this a little bit slow as you see me going around the cuticle area and the sidewalls. I go pretty slow. And I'm really paying attention closely to what I'm doing and where I'm dropping the electric file onto the nail. I don't want to touch her natural nail or her finger at all, even though it is a rounded top safety bit. Uh, if I do accidentally touch her, it really could hurt. So always be careful with that. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you, not doing well. Don't know where you are, cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that 
castle up on the tour I hope that you were safe and that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you I will, I will I will, I will I will, I will. We talk on the phone all right, and once I'm done removing the old gel polish and any extra product that needed to come off, I'm going to go in with a metal cuticle pusher, and I'm just going to gently push back any of the cuticle skin that is stuck onto her nail plate, and this is going to do a few things for me. One, it's going to soften up and help detach some of that dead cuticle skin that is stuck onto her nail, but it's also going to expose more of the regrowth on her nail that she does have. So this is going to give me a larger area to work with when I'm laying my acrylic. So this is really important to do. Don't skip this step. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to take a small cuticle clean bit and just lightly go over the sidewalls and the cuticle area with this bit. And what this is going to do is it's going to really help me get into the cracks and crevices along the sides to get out any of that dead skin that's stuck on the nail plate. And this really is the most important parts of prepping your nails for any type of service is making sure that you're getting all of that dead cuticle skin off of the nail uh, and also dehydrating the nails. Those are your two biggest things and that's what I'm focusing on when I prep my nails. Now I'm going to take a medium grit sanding band and this is one of the last steps before I can start applying my acrylic. Um, but I'm going to take a medium grit sanding band and re-go over the sidewall area, the cuticle area, and then also remove any of the shine from the natural nail. Uh, just kind of like I did with the last cuticle bit. I went around the sides, around the back. But this one I do run over the entire nail um, to remove any shine, get rid of some of those oils that are sitting up on the top of the nail. And then this one I also use, if I do see any spots that look like maybe they're lifting, maybe they're a little too thin, I'm going to use the very tip of that sanding band and lightly kind of feather it over those areas and it will eventually... Uh, file them down and pop them right off. This is a huge, huge step in ensuring that you don't have any problems with your nails falling off, uh, you know, in the client's two week period. If you leave any acrylic that is lifting that's not attached to the nail properly, or even if it's just too thin and you don't build it up enough, that is going to be a huge cause for. Um, lifting during their two to three week uh, process in there. Let me 
Now this client does have two separate nails where she did have a little bit of lifting um, and a little bit of water got trapped underneath the nail. So with that water sitting on there, she got a little bit of a green spot on two of her nails. When that happened, we did take off the nail enhancement. We treated it. We waited a week to make sure that everything looked good. And then we put the enhancement back on. Those two spots are from probably a month and a half to two months ago. They look so much better. They are growing out. They are not getting any worse at all. They're growing out and with that, you're never gonna completely get rid of the spot itself. You just have to let it, or I guess I should call it the discoloration. There, it's not a fungus or anything like that. Um, but you're never gonna fully get rid of that discoloration. A lot of times you just have to let it grow out naturally. And they really have been growing out. The one on the thumb is almost completely gone. And then the one on the middle finger is about halfway down. And like I said, she hasn't had any other problems with um, any of the other nails or even these two, these two particular ones getting any worse. So I think we are on the right track um, with this client. She has a little bit of an issue lifting, especially this time of year. She is constantly washing her hands uh, for her job. So I think we found the right steps to help her out so hopefully we have no future problems with that but i did just want to mention that because i know it is you know kind of staring you right in the face that there's a little bit of a green mark on her nail we did all the right steps for it everything is fine and i just wanted to let you know my next steps are pretty self-explanatory i always shape the nails the best that i can once i'm done prepping the nails um i'm just going to go in and shape them and then take a what's it called a nail brush with some young nail swipe on it i'm going to clean off the dust dirt debris all of that that may be left on the nails and on the hands and that also dehydrates the nails and then from there i'm going to take some young nails protein bond i do two coats of that for this client because like I said, she is a heavy lifter and that seems to be what is working for her. And then I think we're gonna be ready for acrylic application. All right, so here is the two coats of the Young Nails Protein Bond. I love this stuff. This is what works for her. And like I said, I am gonna do two coats to help prevent any further lifting problems for her. Uh, so next up is going to be the acrylic application, and that is gonna be the next video. So do me a favor before you click off of here, please hit the like button, subscribe, and keep an eye out for my next videos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll have a great day. See you in the next one.